I'm Jill Loop, Economic Development Director for Roanoke County, and we're excited to be here today to kick off the event uh, to celebrate a great redevelopment project in Roanoke County's reimagined 419 area. We're celebrating the grand opening of our Fallow Water Square building, a new facility for Long and Foster. Um, we've moved out of a building we were in for 32 years and just actually cut space, about half the space that we had, and it's perfect, and we love the new building. Square footage is 17,040 square feet. It all came from what Long and Foster needed on one floor. So the building footprint really was, was designed with, in conjunction with Long and Foster to create the footprint that they needed. And that dictated the square footage on the second floor. So we have just over 17,000 square feet. The total investment, if you include everything that Long and Foster and National Spine and Pain Center has spent is approximately $5 million. And it created more than 100 jobs in Roanoke County, or more than, I'd say, oh gosh, it's probably 200 people worked on this, this project. While we were just fortunate that two nationally recognized experts in their fields, real estate and healthcare, wanted to be with us. And Long and Foster's been a partner with us for 20 years and have a very strong relationship. And I knew Dr. Paquette with National Spine and Pain Centers, um, but had never worked with them as a group. And it's actually a, it's a, it's a good relationship because you serve two really important community needs, not only real estate with mortgage, title, and property management that's all under the Long and Foster umbrella, and then you have health care uh, through National Spine and Pain Centers, and that's great to be right here in the center of the 419 Town Center in Runnett County. So our other location, we were located at South Jefferson Street, and it didn't really allow us to target the community of Roanoke the, the way we wanted. Our, our building was a lot smaller, and so we've doubled our square footage here at this facility um, to allow us to expand and bring in more providers um, and to really reach the community and be able to take on more patients um, and help them. As Paul Mahoney said, we had three challenged or struggling residential properties and struggling is probably a nice way to put it. Um, they needed a, a lot of work and uh, we just we struggled with them because they were so old and it just didn't make a lot of sense to spend money renovating them because the value wasn't there. And then Jeff Reynolds happens to call one day and says we really need less. They had on about 14,000 square feet uh, behind us or 13,350 square feet to be exact in the Long and Foster building on 419. And he said we probably need about 5, 5,500. And then a few weeks later it grew to six and then it was 6,500, then 7,000, then it became 8,000 and then 8,500. Well, we have on the first floor of our building, we have a, a mortgage, a title, and an insurance company with property management and our real estate offices with some private offices and more of a large workspace. So we um, treat pain and so we service uh, cervical, lumbar, um, thoracic pain. We do different types of interventional therapies which could be epidural injections, facets. So we're really just trying to help patients get the quality of life back uh, with these types of procedures and injections. This area as I said, is our, our prime commercial quarter. And we hope that we have more of these kind of activities in the future. So it's an incredible location for doing business, and it was a great investment for us, and I wanted to be early on in the Reimagined 419. Love seeing all the excitement with the 419 corridor, with the new uh, restaurants and things that we're seeing there in front of Tanglewood, and all the great ideas that Roanoke County has that's coming here in the near future. 